I'm interested in, in the inner uh, aspects of, you know, kind of the psychological portrait more than, than the realistic portrait. So um, that's kind of always my goal is to try and find a, a language for each piece that I do that kind of describes a certain aspect of human emotion or psychology. And that's, in fact, what this entire series behind us is specifically about. The Anthroposcopy sphere, uh, series is the idea of uh, reading someone's emotions or psychological state from the way their face looks, um, which in, as a science uh, really is a bunch of hokum, but as an artistic concept is kind of interesting. So uh, there's a lot of influences in there, but I've always been fascinated with more with what's the inner picture rather than the, the outer picture. I was a real geeky kid and I used to build uh, model kits a lot and at one point I actually started incorporating pieces of model kits into some of my paintings and, and other work. Uh, so I've just always been kind of fac fascinated with texture um, and so that I almost always try when I'm doing a painting to do something that has, uh, that kind of pops out and, and has a physical presence a little bit. I think this, the strength of a painting is that you can, if you see it in person, there's usually things about it that can't be represented on, uh, on, in a photograph or online. So. I think the darkness uh, comes, uh, I think I come by it honestly, I, it, it doesn't, I don't really shoot for it and, and um, it's not something I'm pursuing, it just seems to be uh, kind of the, the station that I'm tuned into I guess, you know, I think every artist has things that they resonate with and that's the kind of uh, images that that come out of them that they end up producing and for whatever reason the images that resonate with me tend to be a little bit on the darker side. So. Uh, well it's always uh, it's always nice when someone comes in and sees a piece and again responds to the emotionality of it whether or not uh, they correctly divine what my intention was in, in, in creating the piece. To me that's the least important part because once I finish a piece I consider it not to be mine anymore goes out into the world and then it becomes a conversation and every person that looks at it is supposed to have their own resonance with it. And that's another reason why I like expressive and kind of surrealist art is because it's less specific. It's, it's inviting the viewer in for a conversation where they get to decide what it means to them. And that's, I think, the most powerful thing about art.